album back. I love the way this artwork turned out. It is so classical and very elegant and graceful. It did take a while to come together because I was working on so many pieces at once, but this is finally finished. In the end, the artwork looked quite textured and I love that effect because I'm really referencing the Renaissance. So it gives the look of sort of aged paper, which I thought fit in really well. I had a lot of comments on my last video asking me <laughs> how I don't get paint everywhere and the answer is I do. <laughs> I actually do pretty well to keep the paint on the palette and the artwork, but I do love to wear white as you can <laughs> probably tell. It's one of my favorite colors and lately it has been getting everywhere and it's so frustrating. Anyway. I also, I don't get dressed up for these videos. I'm just videoing me in my studio of what I would normally be wearing anyway. It's usually when I've come back from something else and I'm already wearing that, so I just start painting. In the middle of this artwork, I actually stopped to do a small color study of skin tone. And I think it went all right, but the color ended up being quite gray. And the first time I mixed up a simple skin tone, which is red, yellow, and white and then a little bit of brown or Payne's grey, um, it ended up being green so I'm still getting the formula right and I think I got the wrong yellow anyway, I need to get the warm cadmium yellow. I don't, I don't know why I got this one, I didn't mean to. So I'm going to get some new paint and retry the skin tone which I think will make a huge difference. But yeah, eventually I will be painting in full skin tone which is really exciting. As you can probably tell from my last video, I really enjoyed doing a landscape for a bit of a change so I think I'm going to incorporate a few more landscapes into my body of work it just really keeps it interesting for me and um, although I love doing the figure it is incredibly difficult I just felt like as I was creating the landscape I was moving at a completely different pace to how I am when I paint a figure although it is the same sort of headspace there wasn't as much pressure attached to it so I felt like I could really relax into it and it almost just evolved on its own and I just let it be in a way. I wasn't trying to make it look like anything I had in my mind so that was really refreshing um, but I would love to know what you guys think. I have done another seascape since and so I'm going to do a video on that soon as well but if you love it let me know. I will list them on my website if you're interested. I have also listed this artwork and a few of my other recent originals on my website if you're interested in purchasing one. The link is in the description of this video. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be doing this renaissance theme, so if you're interested in having one of these artworks, make sure that you go and check out my website and let me know if you have any questions. I have been really enjoying seeing all of my students go through my online courses. There has been hundreds of students enroll in my courses and it is just so rewarding to see how much they're getting from the course and how much they enjoy watching the process. So if you're interested in learning how to draw, make sure you check out the link in my description. I have two online courses, how to draw a tiger masterpiece and the ultimate charcoal techniques course. I was a charcoal artist for many years before I started painting. So I have spent a lot of time figuring out what works and what doesn't and within those courses are my best tips and techniques to drawing really realistically. Anyway, I hope you guys are well. If you're interested in purchasing this artwork, make sure you check out the link in my description. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I'll talk to you soon. Textured feel, it's not too perfect, it's kind of moody and yeah.
This is one of my best friends. She sat for me and a lot of my new artworks are based off her because we did a whole session together where she sat for me. So um, she's a beautiful reference to work from. And I honestly just love painting my friends. I think it's so special and it really adds something to the portrait rather than just painting a stranger or someone off the internet. These people are people that I have really deep relationships with and that I really admire. I'm really looking forward to this year and getting into some of the ideas I have and I'm really excited to share the process with you guys and take you along for the journey. So thank you so much for being here.